Easy. Knocked over here. Quickly, before he strikes again. Here he comes. I got your back. Here you go. Let's go. The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, your majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son. Merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. <laughs> you have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. You, know, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. We'll oh, get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady, oh. really? Push! 
Favor? Gabby? What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Prompto, don't even think about it. <laughs> Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nuh-uh, we just switched back there. And it's my turn, Nut. His turn. <sighs> the world's a big old place. Filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. Hey there, y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom-to-be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat-up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. Gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it either. Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. out here. Oh, Ignis is gonna flip. Wait, oh, uh, what's a gill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Check. Yes, check. Well, we're good to go. See you around. Thanks. Stay beautiful. Oh, I will. Hey, you got any money on you? Not anymore. Information doesn't come cheap around here. Try Iggy. He's got the last of it. Enough for room and board. Something the matter? Got any change on you? The local kind. Funny you should ask. Just so change is about all we have left. Gladio's got the last of it. He might share if you ask nicely. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both for after charging us that much. Y'all need something? Uh, knocked? A uh, bit steep for a simple tune-up, don't you think? Oh, now 
I get it? This must be what Papa meant when he said he was going to teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services. If you're up to the challenge, how about it? All according to Sid's plan. I say we play along and teach him not to underestimate us. I think I got a pebble in my shoe. Take it out. Yeah. It's only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Uh, pretend you're walking to the car. <laughs> What happened here? A telegraph pole's been split in two. And not just this one, either. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It better not be the varmint Cindy was talking about. How should we do this now? Just, just whatever. Not help. with expectation. Nice. Yeah. That ought to be worth some spare change. Anybody else excited for the next time our car breaks down? Are you really that desperate? Yep, I really am. 
It's too dangerous. Get out of here now. So my life flashed before my eyes. Thanks. Nice. Mission complete. Sun's colder today. Yep, getting pretty dark out here. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. A fella named Dave went off. We ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Oh, got it. We'll take a look. Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. Have a look, Locked. Should be able to cash this in. What's this? We all good. 
better than good. Well, that takes care of them. Uh, you don't think they took care of Dave, do you? My time to shine. Not hard. Exactly. Worth its weight in gill. They knocked. Check it out. It's on. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. <sighs> Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me. Ah, yeah. We'll take care of it. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. I've been hunting for years, but I ain't never seen dual horns with blood-red tusks like those. Wonder if the night's growing longer's got anything to do with them showing up out of the blue. And whatever it is, we ought to take it out before it can spawn any more like it. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. Cha-ching, this thing! Yeah. 
It would be wise to rest up. Yeah. In that case... Awesome. All right, you hate bucks. Me? Yeah, can't stand them. Over there! That's it, right? Huh, that's a dual horn? Spoke too soon! That's over with. And now that Dave's safe and sound, I say we go see Cindy. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. Thank you. 
sorry about the wait. Ain't she purty? All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Thanks again, and take care, y'all. Yeah.